Hello everyone and welcome back to another interactive chess game from the chess history. And in this chess game, white is Garry Kasparov and his opponent is Vichy Anand, one of his most important rivals. Well, Vichy Anand was probably one of the greatest chess players of all times. Probably at top 10, he was the 15th undisputed world chess champion and one of the rivals of Garry Kasparov in that era. This game was played in 1991 in Netherlands, so Garry Kasparov, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4, the Sicilian defense by Anand, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, queen to c7, knight to c3, e6, Bishop to e3, a6, Bishop to d3, Knight to f6, and Kasparov castled, Knight to e5, h3, Bishop to c5, King to h1, d6, f4 by Kasparov, Knight to c6, e5, and Vichy Anand made a plan. He sacrificed the knight, temporary, capturing back, and d takes on e5, and what now? Black is a pawn up, and if moving the knight, then bishop takes bishop. Gary Kasparov also made his plan. He played bishop to b5, that's check. Sacrificing the bishop, capturing, and knight from d takes on b5, attacking the queen, defending, and exchanging the bishops, but then knight to d6 by Kasparov, that's check, and losing the casting rights. What now? Vichy Anand is still a pawn up, but Kasparov played. Rook takes on f6 by Kasparov, sacrificing the exchange. What a move by Kasparov. What a move. And Vichy Anand captured the rook. If queen takes on d6, then rook takes on f7. And losing the queen. Deflection tactic, but of course, Vichy Anand would never play the move like that. So let's get back to the real game. Rook takes on f6 by Kasparov. G takes on f6, and knight from c to e4. Defending the queen, not exchanging the queens. Attacking on f7, defending. Rook to d1, attacking the queen. Queen to e3, queen to h4 by Kasparov, queen to f4 by Anand, defending the pawn, and also black wants to exchange the queens, but Kasparov played, queen to e1, not exchanging, rook to a4, queen to c3, rook to d4, by Vichy Anand, Gary Kasparov captured the rook, and queen to f1, between move, king to h2, and then he captured the rook, Queen to c5 by Kasparov. A nasty move. Threatening discover attacks to the king. And then black is getting checkmated. So Anand is running away. King to d7 and knight to b5. And once again, Gary Kasparov is threatening checkmate. How to defend? We have queen to f4 by Vichy Anand. That's check. Let's take it back. So this is the threat, let's say h6, a random move, then queen to c7, king to e8, and knight from b to d6, check, mate. Black has to be very careful, but it appears that defending is not very easy. So this is why, after knight to b5, Anand, check the king, Gary Kasparov, played g3, Attacking the queen, and what now? If defending the queen, then black is getting checkmated. This is why Vichy Anand resigned. What a game by Gary Kasparov. What an incredible chess game. What a slugfest. And let me show you the possible continuation. Defending the queen, but then knight takes on f6, check. If not capturing the knight with the queen, if king to d8, 
then queen takes on f8, check, mate. And if capturing the knight, this time queen to c7, check, king to e8, and knight to d6, check, mate. Once again, black is getting checkmated, and there is no defense. A beautiful chess game by Gary Kasparov. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye-bye.